Hey guys, my name is Shai and I just want to take a minute to talk about dealing with ascension symptoms because I really needed a reminder about this today. I was feeling a ton of energy come in and it was making me feel really fatigued, really exhausted. I was getting a third eye headache. I was getting like sweats and chills and like the whole nine yards, right? It was, it was a lot and I was just trying to lie in bed thinking maybe I'd have a nap. Um, but I couldn't sleep and I was really restless and it just made me feel more and more and more that I just didn't want to do anything and I just wanted to stay in bed and just not move and just rest and rest and rest. And yes, <laughs> just to be clear, I do think that when we're having ascension symptoms like rest and sleep and a hot bath and like nourishment and water and all that is basically our, you know, <laughs> best go-to solution. You definitely need to be resting, but... <laughs> I actually got up and I did a reading for somebody and the, that fixed, <laughs> that completely got rid of my ascension symptoms. And I remembered all of the other times that, that has been the case, all of the times when I feel like I won't make a YouTube video because I'm having ascension symptoms and I go make a YouTube video and then what do you know, the ascension symptoms are gone. Or I have something I have to go do and I don't want to do it because I have ascension symptoms and then I go do the thing and then guess what, my symptoms are gone. So. <laughs> big, big, big reminder for me is that I absolutely need to be flowing the energy out of me. I need to get the energy out. I need to get it moving because I, at least for me, one of the main things that causes my ascension symptoms is channeling more energy than I'm emitting, right? I'm receiving all this energy and I'm not doing anything with it. And of course, you know, doing the whole grounding thing, different meditations, going out in nature, all of that really helps. But I'm finding more and more and more that doing something, um, something that is both physical, like a physical activity, but also like an energetic activity at the same time, um, is the best thing I can do to reduce my ascension symptoms or get rid of them entirely. Like for, for me, it's basically doing tarot readings. That's why I like have to do this. Like I have to make these videos, even if nobody was watching them, it's like, I must do it because this is how I get the energy out. And if I can't get the energy out, then I would just be like a mess like I was before I ever started doing this, right? Because this is the best outlet that I have right now for getting the energy moving, getting it out, getting it flowing, doing something with it, right? And uh, like now I feel fantastic. I can't believe that a couple hours ago I was all in bed with ascension symptoms. Now I feel amazing. <laughs> and oh, I just, I need to remind myself. It's like I want to like leave a note on my fridge to remind myself that when my ascension symptoms are bad, I need to do something. I need to channel the energy. I need to get it flowing, get it moving, get it grooving. And so if you're watching this going, okay, like I don't do tarot readings, what can I do to get the um, energy moving? It's really, it's like literally anything um, <laughs> that, that makes you feel like you were channeling the energy. And if you feel like you were channeling the energy and channeling it out of you more specifically, then you are doing it. You don't need verification from anyone. It's like, was I really channeling? It's like, no, of course you were. <laughs> like everyone's channeling all the time. And you know, a ton of people tell me, Something like, uh, I, I think sometimes I'm channeling. Um, sometimes I stand like alone in my kitchen and I wave my arms around and <laughs> um, and I imagine that I'm opening up vortexes or creating vortexes. And sometimes, sometimes I imagine sending energy out into my home city and stuff like that. And uh, like so many people, so many people tell me this and they all, they all doubt themselves. Like almost everybody feels like, I don't know if I'm really doing anything. I don't know if it's real. <laughs> And, and I know everyone feels kind of silly standing around in their kitchen, like waving their arms around, but it's like, you're absolutely channeling and stuff like that. If, if you naturally find yourself doing that, like, you know, just like doing this, right? like doing something with your hands, getting the energy out, getting it moving or just dancing, um, or even just like flicking your hands. Uh, like if you lived with me, you would see me walking around the house all the time, like, uh, uh, like shaking it out, shaking it out, or like stomping my feet and jumping up and down, shaking it out, shake it out, shake it out get the energy moving. It's like, you can literally feel it like coming off your hands. Right. And it's like, that's real. Of course that's real. Why wouldn't it be real? You're just like, you're not just like making it up. Right. It, you just need to trust yourself more, trust your senses more and trust that you're actually sensing the energy. You're not just making it up. If you're sensing it, then it's real. Um, so literally anything, it could be something as silly as like dancing around your kitchen or waving your arms around and imagining what you're doing with the energy coming off of your hands. Right. You don't need to be like trained in Reiki or certified in Reiki in order to channel energy through your hands. You can just do this. Anyone can just do this. If you're rece receiving the energy, get it out through your hands, get it out through your feet, get it out through your body, do something, right? 
um, talking, right? Like talking can be a big one. Um, that's why I'm talking at the camera. I don't have anyone to talk to right now. So I'm just going to talk at the camera and get it out. Writing, um, music is huge. If you're a musician, massive, 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 right? You, but you don't, musicians don't need me to tell you this. You already know this. Even if you didn't think that you're channeling when you're making music, of course you're channeling music is one of the primary ways that we have carried channeling through all of these periods in different cultures where we had no understanding of channeling. Musicians have always been doing it. We, we've always been doing it, right? <laughs> so making music, um, athletes, right? When you do your sports, <laughs> that's getting the energy out, getting it flowing. So just, I guess my big tip for the day of how to reduce your ascension symptoms is to find a thing for you that gets the energy moving out of you. And to when you're having those moments where you're really like headache, hot flashes, cold flashes, nauseous, just, you know, you're just like, oh, the energy is so intense and I'm just like, blah, right? When you're really feeling it, that those are the times when you're probably least likely to want to get up and try to do something to move the energy. But that is probably also the time where you could benefit the most from getting your energy moving. Although, of course, you really have to be careful and discern because there's some times where, like, if you're really, um, really in a big integration process where like you just need to sit and integrate you just need to sleep right you just need to so you you need to discern that for yourself is like um i'm just trying to think of my own experience so i find that if um the ascension symptoms have just initiated like and i feel the energy coming in and i feel the activation and i'm just getting a third eye headache and i'm just starting to feel all weird that's the perfect opportunity to get the energy moving because it's just first coming in, right? So if your ascension symptoms are just beginning, that is an excellent, excellent time to actually get the energy flowing and then maybe you won't have, you know, it won't get worse. Um, but if you're, if you've been kind of uh, going through a really long-term integration process and, you know, maybe you've been vegging out on the couch for a few weeks, even um, feeling it like really with like feeling it in your body in various ways, then that might be, I mean, you, you have to feel into it. You have to try it, right? does getting the energy flowing is that helping or do you really really just need to rest so there's going to be a discernment and a balancing act for everybody it's going to be different for everybody but that's my <laughs> that's the thing i remember today and i just wanted to put that out there so that's it i love you guys bye